It's almost time for football. There's a doorway to Narnia in my closet. And I've got a pocket full, a pocket full of sunshine. All this and more on Twitter News Weekly. <laughs> Deflategate is on to its next step. The NFL and Tom Brady are officially in court now. Today they were in court. And uh, someone got in. Uh, Steven, what was his last name? Steven Brown. Brown. Steven Brown somehow was able to live tweet from inside the courthouse, which shouldn't have happened, but we're glad it did. He did a great job. Yeah, he really did do a good job. One of the things taken from today was that the courtroom sketch artist is very bad at his job. <laughs> And just the, I, I, I'm gonna put it up right now. This is the, this is the sketch of Tom Brady in the courtroom. He's the man that looks like I don't know. He doesn't look like a man. I wonder if he's like a graphic novelist, the guy who did this. <laughs> I don't know. That's the only that's the only <laughs> explanation I can think. I don't of. know. A lot of people were saying it's kind of like his his take on the whole thing, and Tom Brady's face looks deflated. Oh. Pun jokes galore on Twitter uh, today. Uh, but anyway, let's see what Twitter had to say about this sketch drawing of Tom Brady. And some people think they have pegged who the courtroom sketch artist is. Jeff Crocker said, Hashtag Tom Brady courtroom sketch artist is obviously a Jets fan. Because if you're going to put Tom Brady in that light, then you must hate him pretty good. So you're either Colts or anybody in the AFC East. A Jets fan would be pretty good right now, but I think they're too busy crying themselves to sleep because Geno Smith's jaw is currently not attached to his face. And as you can imagine, as soon as this picture got out on Twitter, it instantly became a meme. Brad Schulke said, a face only Giselle could love. Hashtag Deflategate is really doing a number on hashtag Tom Brady. Hashtag Tom Brady Melty Face. One of the greatest hashtags of all time. And look at that picture. That's just, that is just terrifying. This is going to be a meme for a very long time. And I really hope that hashtag Tom Brady Melty Face stays a hashtag for a very long time. Other people took the meme and equated it to some of their favorite TV shows. Suzanne Lewis said, Can't wait to see Brady's hashtag Walking Dead episode. Hashtag Tom Brady. That's a really good one. Out of all the ones I saw, that was one of the ones most clever. Obviously, the ones that are photoshopped are funny, but this is a good one. Suzanne Lewis, nice job. He looks like a zombie. Looks like a walker. It's horrifying. Nathan Michelop is clearly just joining the conversation. Does anyone else think the sketch of Tom Brady in the courtroom looks awful? No, you are not the only one. All the people I just said, and all these people too. Take a look. Nice one, Hector. Thunder Dan Wiener. That's a really good one. And here's a few more. Just take a look. So, you're not alone. All those people think it's weird too. Quentin Tarantino's eighth feature film, The Hateful Eight, released its first pretty much full-length trailer today. It was about two and a half minutes, and it was pretty magical. It was awesome. Uh, Tarantino is shooting the movie in 70 millimeter film, which, correct me if I'm wrong, is like a wider... It's Yeah, it's super wide. It's so Tarantino, it hurts. It's like, that's just what he does. He's all about shooting in film, and yeah, it's just like super wide, super like... You'll see not a lot at the top and bottom, it's just like very big. And in addition to a monster cast featuring Kurt Russell, Samuel Jackson, Walton Goggins, Tim Roth, Jennifer Jason Leigh, you also have a pretty cool plot. It's based, according to Tarantino, four to eight to twelve years after the Civil War. It's pretty cool. And it follows uh, Kurt Russell, who is uh, nicknamed the Hangman, and he's taking his prisoner, Jennifer Jason Leigh, and he gets stopped along the way by all these different insane characters that Tarantino has uh, has created. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it, it looks so good. And Tarantino does the old west or like like old like western style his movies. Sets are so amazing, good. Yeah. Even when it's not a western movie, his it just has like that western feel to it. It's gonna so. be great. And the trailer was wonderful. Naturally, Twitter. So actually, for the most part, was pretty positive. But it's yeah, kind of, that's you, shocking. You actually. always have those bums. So let's see what Twitter had to say about the hateful eight trailer getting released today. At Sean Peoples tweeted, I hope The Hateful Eight is way better than its trailer. That just seemed really, 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 really bad. Well, Sean, I don't know who pooped in your cereal this morning, but the consensus on Twitter was that it was a great trailer, okay? Don't talk about Quentin Tarantino like that. Also, it wasn't bad. Okay, you might not have liked it, but don't say it's bad. I want to see you put something together like that. Bad. Get more original. 
At Guy on Film tweeted, I saw the trailer for The Hateful Eight and I just got one question. Where can I buy all of those costumes? Tell me about it. Also, where can I buy Kurt Russell's mustache? Because there is no way in hell I'm going to be able to grow that kind of mustache. I mean, I can grow some facial hair, but that mustache is goddamn all time. So, Kurt Russell, I'm coming for your mustache. At Geo's Mojo So Dope tweeted, The Hateful Eight trailer made my dick really, really hard. Uh huh. Uh huh. See, you, you were following the really, really theme from our first person, but it just took a turn to crazy town very quick. But I appreciate your enthusiasm. It's, it's frightening, but it's welcome. And finally, at Utah Dodger tweeted, When y'all releasing the Hateful Eight at Tarantino? We're, we, we just went over this. We, it's, on, it's all over the internet. Search it anywhere. Google, YouTube, go to any website, you'll be able to watch the trailer. Any website. And those are this week's top stories. Thank you for joining us always here at Twitter News Weekly. We will be back in front of your iPhones, tablets, computer screens, same time, same beautiful place next week. YouTube.com slash The Average Nobodies. And while you're on our YouTube page, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out a lot. And subscribe to our page and comment below. Comment something. You liked it. You didn't like it. Okay. Constructive criticism is good, although we will be angry and we will comment furiously back at you. We don't, just we don't take it well. No, we don't. No. We really don't. We take criticism horribly. And at the meantime, uh, we are on Instagram and Twitter, at Average Nobodies. We are on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Average Nobodies. And of course, we have the blog averagenobodies.com So until we see you again, I'm Ryan. And I'm Matt. Bye.